In today's video, we find out if the new Rarity Collection 2 is better than its predecessor, Rarity Collection 1. What's up guys, we are back with the versus video between the new Rarity Collection 2 and the original Rarity Collection 1, which is not that old, it only came out about six months ago. The crazy thing is, I was checking in on the pricing of these, because these are like, you know, 110 bucks new, which is pretty wild. Uh, but if you get 5% off at Sassy Auto, they're a little bit cheaper, so go check that out down below, link in the description. Rarity Collection 1 is actually now at $130, so yeah, Rarity Collection 1 has actually gone up in value. We don't see that in Yu-Gi-Oh! very often, that means they're actually more expensive than the new ones. So I'm not gonna really count that toward the score we're gonna do an opening and whichever one pulls more value will be the winner let me know in the comments which you think will be the winner we also have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards sealed or calcos from uh yugi's world that's the first edition one i don't know if it actually changes the promo or not but it was from the first dead one we have the shining flare shining neo swing men and then the blue eyes jet dragon which is also reprinted in here just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below which one do you think is gonna win let's get to it all right here are your two boxes there are 18 packs in the new one there are 24 in the old one so we're i guess just gonna have to alternate sort of and then do a couple more rarity collection ones as we go my prediction is that here's the thing these are pre-release rarity collection prices so that will help but a lot of these are valid Valuable. There's not as many great cards in here as there is in here. It's really tough to say. I'll probably go with the new one just because new is usually harder to beat because of all the uh, pre-release prices. I'm going to go sideways on these. We have the Prismatic Ultimate Rare Rindbrum, the Striking Dragon. Cool. Enemy Controller, the Trishula Dragon of the Ice Bear with the big old ding out of it. That's unfortunate. This will probably go in my Edison box. Very cool. Uh, aside from Lord Ormega and, of course, the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Did I say Ormega? Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, well, let's keep it going. Let's go Rarity Collection 1. There's only five cards in here, so Triple Tactics, Talents, Striker Dragon. Maybe we can compare some of the rarities as we go. So there's a Collector Rare from the original Rarity Collection. Okay, next pack, Rarity Collection 2. So far, we've already gotten a uh, Platinum Seeker Rare. We got Ulti Prismatic Ultimate, Prismatic Collector Rare, a bunch of different stuff. I think we might have gotten a QCR right here. There's a Prismatic Collector Rare right there. Coral Dragon, Twin, Twisters, Pot of Duality. And, oh, Silent Magician. Rhyme Style is going to be interested in this one. That is for sure. The Silent Magician Quarter Century Rare. That is beautiful. That is a cool looking card. That looks amazing. All right. Off to an awesome start with Rarity Collection 2. Let's see if Rarity Collection 1 can turn it around a little bit and uh, make a comeback. Right. I mean, they do have a Collector Rare so far, so they're not doing bad. Ancient Fairy. Uh, the Elder Entity Entis, uh, Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon, and Herald of the Arc Light starting it off pretty slow. I'm going to go back to back of these because there are six extra packs in the Rarity Collection 1 box. So let's see what we can get this time. Eldritch, Tour Guide. i got to make sure I don't miss the Platinums because they're not as easy to tell in the new one. New one you can't miss. They're very shiny. Mech Lord of Crusadia Avermax is the Prismatic Ultimate from the original. Very cool. Oh, Rux and Special. Then a couple of cards, Predator Plant Dragons to Paleo. Honestly, very, very fun. I mean, these two sets are absolute bangers. We've got some amazing looking cards in them. Saravas, we've got the Skullmeister. Oh yeah, there's nine cards, so I'm gonna do this. We have the Abyss Dwaler, Dwaler. <laughs> Psychic and Punisher, Coral Dragon, Garuda, and the Aluber, Jester of Despia. So nothing insane in that one, just a bunch of secrets, ultra supers, you know, nothing crazy. Rarity one, it's pretty rare to see actually out of a Rarity Collection 2 and only get that. There's the Platinum Seeker Rare, much different. We'll compare these later in the video. Small World, we have Lightning Storm Prismatic Ultimate and then the Inspector Border. So a couple of high rarity luxury rares as they call them. Um, that is what I think Konami wants us to call them just based on what they've said in their releases and stuff. So I guess that's what we'll call them. All right, uh, Rarity 2. Let's see what else we can get. Wow, that is cutting right to the cards. We have Foolish Burial. Prismatic Collector Rare. We have Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Prismatic Ultimate. That's awesome. Uh, Illusion of Chaos, Fantas Fantastical Dragon, Phantasme. And then Fantastical Dragon, Phantasme, Platinum Secret Rare. That is amazing. Okay, these are looking fire so far. And I feel like Rarity Collection 2 is actually, because of all the double pull rates and stuff, is actually doing pretty well. Dogmatica and Predaplant Dragus to Paleo. Let's try two of these in a row. So they have double pull rates. They means they should have the advantage over rarity because there's only six less packs, you know, so if it's double pull rates, they're in good shape. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, Nibiru. So another pretty card. All right, Rarity 2. It feels like you've already pulled a lot of cards. Like there's shiny stuff everywhere. So let's see about this next one. Foolish Burial Charge. Troll and Lockbird. Silent Magician. Silent Magician again. I'm gonna pull out some of these Edison cards as I go. I probably, I mean, some of these other ones. Foolish Burial Charge, I mean, those are both good. Pre-prep, I probably need to pull out Solemn Warnings just for the future, but 
I really, I didn't get rid of any of my rarity collection one bulk, just because I was like, this is not really bulk, it's just bangers, so I still have that somewhere. Um, Nightmare, we have the Dark Ruler No More and Pre-Preparation of Rites. Back-to-back -back Rarity Collection 1 packs. Can you pull something big? Feels like there's almost no duds in Rarity Collection 2. Oh, a Nightmare Unicorn. There we go. That's a good QCR. All right, and then there's a Nightmare Unicorn. That's the alt art that we got. Still a little sad about the red eyes. I mean, all these alt arts in these first two. And I mean, basically every maximum gold alt art, except for the red eyes is what it feels like. I, there might've been one other they missed, but it feels like it was just that one. The oh, harp, harp, hoop harbinger, IP mascarina, blue eyes alternative. You wanna play your blue eyes cards? Very cool. Can we pull the ash blossom? How cool would that be? We have the spell book, Baron de Flu, which is now banned. Goodbye, Baron. What from Rarity Collection 2 will be banned next? Probably something, right? Probably something we'll get the ban hammer. Nib Super Nibble Mega Hamster. I need those for Edison Box. Enemy Controller, Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh, yeah, gotta get the MSTs. I don't have enough of those. We have Mind Control, beautiful card. Man, Prismatic Ulti. We're getting a lot of good cards in this one. Guardian. Solemn Warning. And the Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. I didn't really realize that was in there. IP Masquerade is a cool card as well. Okay, Rarity 1. It feels like Rarity 1 is getting trampled right now. I think they're getting destroyed. And the box is more expensive, which is pretty wild. Nightmare Unicorn getting very, very much destroyed. Let's see if we can continue to pull fire. And maybe on the Rarity 1 side. Was that two packs I just opened and didn't get anything? Okay. All right, back to Rarity 2 where you get all the good pulls. We've got Droll and Lockbird, Silent Magician, DD Crow, Cosmic Cyclone, Ghost Mourner, Unchained Soul. We got Sardavas. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit and Silent Swordsman. So the Silent Swordsman's in there as well. That's pretty cool. All right, Silent Magician and Silent Swordsman both in the same set. That's going to be pretty awesome, especially all those rarities of those. Okay, we got some. We got a Prismatic Collector Rare Effect Veiler. That's a good one. That's one of the best cards we pulled so far. Very solid. I mean, it's always good to see Effect Veiler. So looking good, Rarity Collection 1. That'll definitely help. I mean, you have a lot less pulls in terms of like the number of pulls, but that is a very high quality one. So we'll see if that helps. Pot of Prosperity is probably still money as well. So we'll take that into account, put that over there. Rarity Collection 2. Continue your hot streak and continue to pull amazing stuff. Let's see if you can. I mean, it's going to be tough to keep that up. We got Peaceful Planet. We have Unchained Soul of Rage. That is a Prismatic Ultimate. And a Luber, the Jester of Despia. A Luber is back with Phantom Knight's Upbreak Sword. I don't know how many packs are left of Rarity 2. It's hard to tell in the little box because, you know, there's not two sides. You can't, like, go what out of 12 is left. You know, it's 18. It's a bigger number. Win the wind channeler. Okay. Okay, there's nine left. So there's still a couple more rarity ones. So let's go rarity one again. Rarity collection. Will you bless us with something? Oh, we got double hit. So we got fossil dig and win the wind channeler. Okay, fossil dig's cool. Win, not as much, but that's fine. All right. Once we do this one and then two more rarity one will be even on the packs. So I think that that'll be that'll be good abyss dweller we have pearly silent magician super nimble mega hamster yes thank you i still feel like rarity 2 is up look i'm always wrong on these when i'm trying to speculate what the prices are like who's ahead blue eyes abyss dragon that's pretty awesome i love blue eyes i'm excited for the blue eyes jet even though it is a reprint and the, the blue eyes spirit is actually pretty awesome so we got some cool blue eyes in rarity 2 that i'm excited about uh elder entity into chaos space we got oh, i dropped the secret rare sorry secret rare oh lone fire blossom i should probably pull that out too okay so eight packs left of both and right now it feels like a landslide for rarity collection too but maybe it's just because we've hit so many hits gotten so many hits hit so many hits sounds like weird uh emergency teleport okay we got something here Mystical Space Typhoon. <laughs> Is that the second time I pulled this already between uh today and yesterday's video that's pretty funny let's keep it going ash blossom that's a great card oh hiccup Hiccup, Nibiru and Nibiru. All right, pot of extravagance, not prosperity. I was like, what is that thing called again? <laughs> okay, I remembered. Okay, Ash Blossom is good, but it was not the QCR. I'm trying to regain my breath over the hiccups. You know, we have Mind Control, not bad. We have Trishul, not bad. We have Pot of Polymerization. That is a different card. Pot, <laughs> pot of Polymerization, Raika. And the Garuga, the wings of the resonant life or whatever it is, something like that. Keep it going, guys. Let's see what else we can get. We have Nadir Serve. We have Mud Dragon with Eldritch. I mean, those are all great cards, but compared to Rarity 2, where we're just pulling something in every single pack, it's going to be tough to compare with. We have Phantom Knights, Rescue Cat, Foolish Burial is great. Solemn Strike, Blue Eyes Spirit. Can't wait to get that in Prismatic Secret or Ultimate. 
quarter century. Why can't I? Why do I call it Prismatic Secret every time? Psychic and Punisher is basically the same thing, just like amped up. Psychic and Punisher is a good card. That is a Prismatic ult. Everything else is Prismatic something, and then it's quarter century. It just throws me off. Prismatic Ultimate, Prismatic Collector. It just throws me off. There is a Platinum Rare right there, Cherubini. All right, we still got a few packs left. Can we get something crazy here? Something awesome. We have Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. We have the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Awesome. We have so many cards. It's, this looks like a Platinum Rare. Gold Sark right after Gold Sark. So a couple doubles in that pack, but even then, pretty awesome looking cards. The Platinum Rares are just awesome. They look great. Rarity One, can you give us something big? I think we've pulled two QCRs in here, and you only get, I think you get three. I forgot to count the, when I did yesterday's video, I forgot to count like what the ratios were. Whoops, I just kind of got carried away. We have Pearly. Cross out, just too excited. We have TG Hyper Librarian. Librarian. We have the Punisher, Mind and Foolish Burial. Don't mind if I do. All right, down to like three packs left each, something like that. And it's getting really close to the end. Mast Hero Dark Law, we have Red Ice Flare Metal, Chaos Space, and Effect Veiler, all great cards. All right, it is two there and three here. Rarity Collection 2 is just, I mean, they are really showing off right now. They are showing off big time. Saravos, we have the Underworld, which these are, I mean, okay, need to spell. Anti-Spell Fragrance is in here. That's a very awesome card that people love. So the, the prices are around the same now, but I guess the MSRP is double on Rarity Collection 2, so they technically should do a lot better. But even then, like, with the prices around the same, you know, it kind of works out to be like, you know, you got to keep up, but it's not working so well. Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden, Collector Rare. We're going to open these two Rarity 2s and then try to end it with a Ash Blossom Quarter Century over here on Rarity 1. Let's see if we can do it. Solemn Judgment, Twin Twisters, Rescue Cat, Fantastical Dragon, Phantasma, Xyz Encore, My Friend Pearly. Xyz Encore actually needed a reprint, I think. Silent Sword, let's do this to the rhyme style opening. Silent Swordsman and Silent Magician in the same box. He is going to definitely be hitting me up after this. That is, uh, yeah, that's that's the rhyme style opening right there. Exo Sisters packs, we got TG, Hyper Librarian, Bingo, Machine Go. Exo Sisters, can we get something crazy to end it? Illusion of Chaos. Number 38, so we are ending on a dud. That's that's a bummer. That's okay, though, because we have one more pack. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. We will be opening the entire set of Rarity Collection 2 live on YouTube later this week. I'm planning on Friday or Saturday. Don't know yet. Thursday, we'll be live on Whatnot, and there we will be selling Rarity Collection 2 and have some Rarity Collection 1 as well. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be fun. It's going to be Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. So you can go to the link down below, get $15 free credit on Whatnot, and you can also bookmark my stream. We also have one coming up next week as well, so a couple Whatnot streams coming up. So if you want to be there, show up for that. It's going to be fun. And then we'll go right into the next couple days after that, opening every card in the set. So it's going to be super cool. Make sure you guys do that. Go check out Ruxin34.com as well if you haven't already and hit that subscribe button for the video. Here we go. Let's get a, one last QCR, Infinite Impermanence. Oh, we did. Oh, wait, I did the wrong pack trick, I think. Lone Fire Blossom. That's pretty cool. That's a good Edison card. And then uh, pre-prep. Very nice. What a way to end it on a QCR for Rarity Collection 1. Honestly, felt like we got some pretty good cards in there. I mean, it's hard to not feel like you got good cards when opening Rarity 1 or Rarity 2. And Rarity 2 is just showering you in high rarities, which is super fun. We will be doing more Rarity Collection 2 in the rest of the week. Um, those live streams and more videos, so keep an eye out. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.